Hi, welcome to the Quick City channel. My name is Christoph, and this week we are busy dismantling my Brahms gas generator HHO machine that I have here. Um, this uh, I built about three, four years ago, and I've been using it. And it's time to clean it up and to dismantle it. And um, I'm going to rebuild it and make it neaten it up and make it more according to the plans that I that I drew up. So sit back and enjoy the video. What I've noticed is there was some leaking around the pipes uh, where they enter, um, crystallization forming. And I've noticed over the, the course of the four years that my uh, the flame uh, went a little bit smaller, less potent. And I think that's because my solution got weaker inside the electrolyzer because I added some fresh water but I've lost some of the chemicals uh, potassium hydroxide crystallized at places where it leaked so it didn't leak profusely so that there's 
evidence of a puddle or anything, but I've noticed the crystals and <clears throat> I also noticed that um, my these nipples that I used are made of brass and I've noticed that they, they're discolored and the heavy alkaline solution attacked the metal. It didn't eat it away, but I don't want this uh, the copper to contaminate the whole thing. So I'm going to replace all of these uh, nipples with a plastic or stainless steel. So now that we have the whole thing dismantled, um, I'm going to go through each part and address the issues after four years of operating I'm going to address the issues and we're going to find a solution for each one so the first thing you notice there's some rust definitely not a good idea to use anything that is not stainless steel um, even galvanized doesn't last um, the little fan is fine I'll use I'll reuse that and this fan uh, just blew from underneath onto the two electrolyzers I want to change that according to the plans I drew up and add a little radiator just the heat exchanger that will make this more efficient um, electronics I'll, I'll put in a better uh, container and set up <clears throat> that is also still working um, so this is the the main uh, reservoir and bu a bubbler so as you can see um, that is a piece of plastic that I put there as a safety measure in case there's ever an explosion or something it will just burst the plastic and that's easy to replace instead of bursting the whole container this is uh, the two electrolyzers. Um, I'm not going to open them. They are still fine. They're working. The two power terminals. And as you can see, I marked them minus and plus. What I'll do is when I rebuild the machine, I'm going to swap it around because it's an anode and a cathode and the anode uh, probably got more wear than the than the cathode and if I turn it around it will it will last another four years at least um, even more it was it will just cause the the plates to inside to wear more evenly and also the same thing to replace these and to make sure there's no, no leaks then piping i'm going to replace all of this with new piping there's some stains it's and this pvc piping is cheap so wire clamps some of them are very rusty especially where there were leaks and i'm going to make another plan there And then it's over to the fasteners. I'll replace some of the rusty ones. Again, it, it will be better to use stainless steel, uh, but maybe not worth the cost. What I'll do with these, I'll just clean them up and maybe paint them, reuse them. And then the bubbler, I'm gonna redo this make it longer probably build a complete new one and keep this one for for a smaller machine future use and that's the ammeter that actually needs to be with all the electronics and then this guy here is also it's just a, a, a trap to catch extra moisture it's filled with this um, silica stuff uh, 
Kettlette. Um, that is also a little bit rusty there. So I think I've got a 3D printer now, so maybe I'll just 3D print a fitting for for this. Also with the, with this one, I'll 3D print something, and then the torch um, is fine. I'm gonna leave that. And then there's this the wooden parts that I really need to replace with something better. This is what I had at the time, but um, now I have this this recycled plastic material that I also used here. I've got quite a bit of that, so I'll use this. Uh, lastly, uh, the wiring. Yeah, this, as you can see here, anything that's copper, it becomes green, and then it doesn't make a nice connection anymore. So, no copper wiring. Uh, I need to get nickel wire. If you are interested to build one of these machines yourself, I have plans available for $25. Um, that is, uh, you'll do a PayPal uh, transaction. Um, um, either if you're in South Africa and you want to, you can just contact me. Um, it's uh, 325 Rand plus that current price. In the future, I'll update it in the link uh, in the description of the video. In my next video, I. I will assemble everything with the correct parts which I'll get and let's see so next week we will start assembling the, all the new parts and I'll get all the new materials for this thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video um, I'll see you next week and make sure that you subscribed if you didn't do so already and hit that like button. Have a great week. Cheers.